Hello, everybody. Welcome to this uh, video of interview of Pedro Camacho. I hope I uh, I say Camacho? it right. Cam Camacho. Camacho. Exactly. Yes. Cool. That's right. <laughs> then first, uh, Pedro, thank you. Really, thank you to have spent your time and uh, accepted this interview. Oh, it's, it's uh, you know, it's really, it's really, it's really cool for everybody, us, and uh, the community. Uh, I will no, introduce. It's a pleasure for me. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, I will introduce you a little bit uh, in case where people were in a cavern during uh, sometimes. Uh, you are the composer of uh, the the music of Star Citizen. Uh, yes, uh, at least most of it, I, I believe. Yeah. No, so I, I have to I have to say my nickname. You know, you didn't ah. ask my nickname. Ah, yeah. Uh, ah, yes. I, you know, I'm a gamer. That's a good you one. Know, I'm a ga I'm a gamer. Well, I I spent a long time playing games. Um, besides studying music, um, playing games is something that I always love, and I, I always love playing games competitively. So I always have it. Uh, and the first game I played competitively, like a bit more. Uh, like uh, seriously was in uh, I think it was 1998 1999 so it was a long time ago and it was Starcraft uh, ah, yeah. so it starts with a star with the same name it's not Star Citizen but <laughs> Starcraft and and I, I love that there was I don't know if you heard of that game it was an RTS with a real strategy real time strategy yeah, game sure. yes. from Blizzard yeah. Uh, and uh, and and yes, exactly. So I and I used in the in the start at least I used to play Zerg a lot. I <laughs> love Zerg. Later on, I started playing more Terran, Terran and and Protoss. But uh, initially, I I really loved Zerg. So I used the nickname I I used the nickname Overmind, which is kind of pretentious to use. <laughs> Back then, I was very young, and I didn't thought much about that. So. You know, people in the community used used to call me over, like, uh, "Hey, hey, over, how are you?" Something like that. Okay. And I used to play a lot, so I don't know if you. Um, uh, I used to go to tournaments, etc. Kind of, kind of. Uh, and then I don't know if I won. Any, I don't think I won any tournament, but I got to this with two of them at least. I got to the finals, and then I was a bit in a Korean clan. So well, I, well, oh. when I was. Oh really, yeah, nice. Uh, like, hardcore. Hardcore. Uh, that was a small time in my life where I was kind of hardcore then I had to quit that otherwise I wouldn't do anything else in my life you, you um, were a professional player so exactly oh. so I was oh. kind of uh, so I I had a clan I was a clan leader and, uh, and it, it was the Portuguese team and um, and and also I played in uh, ESL which is a European sports yeah. league and um, back then it was a... we we quite know the the ESL yeah Oh, then, then I, I didn't have, um, you know, then, then I just stopped having time for that. And, but it was very cool. I remember at the peak of my career, I wasn't too fast, but it was still good enough. I could do like 190 APM, which is actions per minute. I don't know if yeah, you know. Yeah. 190. Yeah, yeah. Nice cool. APM, yeah. It's a nice, it's not, you know, Korean, real Koreans, like uh, the three, 300 or more, which is kind of insane. I don't know how they do that. Koreans but, uh, are extraterrestrial. Uh, yeah, exactly. Italian. It's impossible. It's, it's really impossible. I was the worst player in, in that Korean clan, of course. I was the worst. <laughs> because they were just insane. I had to leave because it's, they were insanely good. They, they, I think they spent like 10 hours per day training yeah. nonstop. It's... Uh, it's phenomenal it's uh that's something i, I it's well i don't know how they live uh, but yes it's a it's a job actually uh, some of them can live with that but not not everyone but um it's truly in, insane uh but i really like it because I, i'm I, I like uh cyber sports a lot and i was very into that and um back then it was kind of like a joke when people thought about that I think nowadays it's not no longer considered a joke, but still very kind of weird. But I believe in at least I, I will say in maximum 10 years, I think, you know, esports will have like such a big scene that will compete with like Olympics. I think there will be. I I don't encourage I don't encourage, encourage people to spend that many hours on, on, on a PC, though, because it's. It's not good for your health, uh, to be honest. Um, I have I have a son, and I I really don't want him. 
I don't want to allow him to spend more than an, and that a certain number of hours playing game. But games are really good and can be very educational, can be very um, good for brain training. Yes. Uh, for but decision. can be addict too, like you said. It, yes, it, it is. It's important to to um, to be careful uh, with yes. um, the addictions, because uh, there are some games which I think the addiction is good when there's a lot of community. When you when you actually don't lose contact with people, you keep contact with people, and there's a kind of a healthy environment around people. But well, for example, like like uh, with the work we you, you do, which is you know a stupendous amount of work, I think it, it's it's actually important even. Even to youngsters in in the future, I think future employers employ employers should look at resume and say, "Well, I help organize this and this and that online," mm, which yeah. nowadays kind of older people don't don't really matter. Not in well, Europe, who, who, who cares about that? But I think in the future, I think in ten years, people will say, "Oh, you did this." Well, I'm sorry, I mean, I have my my hand like this thing, like, "Oh, you did this." Wow, this is amazing. Like, that's a lot of organization and 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 that's a good skill to have because everyone which is around you is, isn't usually paid for that and uh, or so you're just your peanuts is, exactly <laughs> so basically it's your skill to to um, uh, motivate people to do something that you know just just for the pure pleasure of that uh, of doing yes. it okay, so it's good it's good it doesn't get healthy when you when you just for them just to win and you spend like a, an insane amount of hours that you lose contact with you with with what exists in, in, in life and that's important too so that I never encourage people to spend uh, more time in a PC than in in your life with your, your life, yes. in your um, with your uh, wives kids nature you know it's important as well I yeah, think of uh, course of course I, I think I, it's I, Yep. Well, I really think uh, actually, and that's what's great with uh, the, the actual Star Citizen community is that really uh, the game is a pretext to get a, a social life for some people. Uh, it really makes that easier for, for you know, shy people to, to mm -hmm. have a social life, to make friends, to meet friends. And uh, well, actually, I, re I really know a, a couple of people that really get their entire social life uh, around that's because it's so hard for them to to meet new people. They are so uncomfortable in you know in, in plain society. That's now meeting people through internet, through through uh, games. It's really a good way for them to to make new friends and to meet new people. And actually, here for the the three of us, I really think it helped too. Not that we are shy, but yeah, no, it's it's, it's still an occasion to to meet new people. There, there was there was a certain uh, stigma uh, when people uh, when if when people outside us hear that they think oh you need the internet to meet people <laughs> oh, you're very strange man uh, but it's not I think uh, I think it's good because unfortunately there are, there are some people live in certain areas or zones that we well there are I don't know there aren't many people of your age or people just you know. Very uninteresting. Sometimes you know. Sometimes you you have to. You usually, you you blame the guy who goes into needs to go to a game to socialize. But sometimes people around you is really just plain uninteresting. If if you know if you have friends that all they want is just to get you know, drink alcohol. I, I'm not against that. You know, I like to no, play but... with a friend. Okay. But if all they want is just go there and just be goofs for. Uh, in the night and say, well, this is not really me. Do I have to do this to fit in or something like that? I don't know. Maybe I, I, I'm, I'm ready to fight. Maybe I'm, I'm sounding a bit too old now. Mm. Uh, no, <laughs> no, no, no. It's, no, no, no. <laughs> it, it's reasonable. But, uh, it's, so I think the good thing, maybe that can be a good thing to to see, you meet people that share interest in you. And and one thing I really in, like seeing in the start is that you, people organize meetups where you meet actually in real life. It's, it's important as well. I think that's the most fun thing you can you think you can have. It's a yes, uh, for lots of us, I think it's a, a very good way to invest ourselves in something that is greater than us, us. because we we can share it together and um, and like you said, organize ourselves and do things and uh, gain experiences 
and lots of uh, interactions and this is very very fun so yeah you are totally right about that okay yeah. thank you <laughs> Well, I will propose you to ask some uh, questions that we prepare now, okay. more, in, uh, more linked to Star Citizen. Mm -hmm. um, the first one I want to ask you is, uh, can you tell us how did you become the Star Citizen composer? Oh. Yeah, so it was a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It was like, yeah, it's, it's been some, some times. So uh, I first, I, I saw the game and being advertised somewhere online and um, I was a wing commander player so I loved wing commander ah, and good. but it was not only just because of that I actually saw the footage and I said wow this is quite amazing I really liked it I well I, I, I thought to myself well this is a game I would want to play and I'm usually pretty picky about games that I really want to spend or invest some of my time with really picky I really don't you know and And I emailed Chris Roberts, and you know, I'm a professional composer. I I I have scored uh, several games before, and and, and films, and uh, so it's. But uh, you know, I just emailed him, and um, and he replied back, and he asked for my demo, and uh, and apparently he liked it. Yeah, uh, but not so easy in between. But uh, it was a lot of hard work, but it was it was really good. Then I. Then uh, after that we had, um, well, the game, as you know, it became t it's really too large, and and for the single player mission, he um, uh, Chris Robert hired um, the the composer, which was a super talented, um, not so not going to say as well because that <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> well, <laughs> I am what I am, but he's super talented, he's super talented, which is great because it, that game benefits from that, which is Jefferson Alley. And he's scoring more, uh, now is exclusively the Squadron 42 campaign, so he's doing just that, and and he's doing an amazing amazing job. And um, and I think it's no, it, it's I think it's fantastic to work with people uh, that see people around me that are super talented, like like Jobs and Ali. And so, so yeah, so yeah, so so but but uh, that's how I became. But I, I started a lot earlier than him. For a couple of years, so I think uh, everything or almost everything that you hear in the game was composed by me right now. So in the future, when Scott and Fortitude gets released, you will hear the music from Jeff. And uh, but right now, what you hear also, sorry, there's a there's some of the music. I think all the music that you hear in uh, in Arena, Com um, sorry, not the Arena Commander, the um, Star Marine, yes. the PS module. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, that was composed for by a sound designer. Which is called uh, Ross Truganza. Yes. Uh, he, which he's a, a fantastic person. Person really. I <laughs> I, I met a, a couple of times with him in real in real life. He's really fantastic fantastic person. I really love uh, working with him. Um, and it's uh, it's a uh, really well. I, I was, was uh, I think I'm lucky because uh, we have like a, a team that's not only talent but really nice really nice team. So Chris is a he did a good job on that and hiring good people you know yeah so because because if you are i don't know if where you work but i i've worked before in other places uh, in music as well where the environment is not as healthy as um, as here so here is a very good environment healthy environment so which is great uh, yeah actually uh, it's a pleasure to <laughs> to, <laughs> to do it as a, maybe music that's maybe that's why it becomes easier to do to, to do my job Maybe that's fine. Sense logic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the, the other question uh, we want to ask you is you, you answer uh, in part. Mm -hmm. It was considering the number of projects people are proposing you, uh, or you you can help. Why did you choose to uh, to join the Star Citizen adventure? Uh, we, we can say it's a, a little bit your your part of gamer in you. We push you to Star Citizen <laughs> or? Well. Well, yes. Uh, well, actually, um, uh, when I started working on Star Citizen, I was also hired to to work on uh, Witcher Three. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Civilization so... Five, too. No. Sorry. Civilization Five. Yeah, th th that was a yes. That was a minor. That was much smaller. Uh, but it was before, and it was ah, much smaller. Okay. So, Witcher okay. Three was a kind of uh, a bigger thing, and at some point I had. 
because of that the moment of my life I had to choose between one of them mm. and uh, and I, I chose Tarsism um, uh, also because it, it, um, in Witcher 3 um, it, I entered there to help the uh, the lead composer uh, who was working there to him help him uh, and to improve uh, to orchestrate his music as a MIDI or, or orchestra but in this case it was MIDI initially and to make it sound you know a bit more polished uh, eventually I got the opportunity to uh, to really become a, a composer in the game so I was hired for that uh, afterward a bit afterward after one of my tracks was scored with a real orchestra uh, the CEO from TD Project hired me for that, uh, but then I I chose for City because I was the game I preferred the most, and also because I feel that it was not you know becoming one thing was me working to help the others, another one was be side by side, and then I, I don't want to get a lot into that, but kind of it's. Uh, I, I felt it was the best option, and I really prefer Star Citizen, Star Citizen as a project. I think, I think Star Citizen is a game, uh, which it was a. It's a really nice game. It's a game that, um, but it's a kind of finite game, you know. Star Citizen is something that is, I strongly believe that will last for a longer time, like will yes. have a really longer longevity, and, uh, and and I really do believe that. Not only because of of the insane amount of detail that. That is being invested, also because of um, you know, just the ultimate sandbox you can have in a game. Yes. Like you know, you, you really have planets, you really have a universe, you really have ships, and you know, then uh, was kind of a bit um, probably initially some would say crazy to to go into something as big as this, but when when you don't risk, you don't you will you will never go. Into the next level uh, of games, exactly. and I really think Star Citizen will make history. Not only because yeah. of, the, of of being crowdfunded, uh, but mostly because it was so. And that's what I truly believe, and and that's what everyone that is in the team, which are a few hundred people that are working every day, they do yes. believe, and they, they speak with me, and they, and I, and I feel that in them, is that. Um, it's they believe this will be a game that will make history uh mostly because it will be so ab above in scale from every other game that they've worked with in terms of technology and that will enable uh, future uh you know after the technology is done because it's nearly there it's really nearly there everything is coming together right now it's just a matter of populating it well, um, we'll come back a little uh, to the musical part. Uh, are you able to tell us how many different musical pieces do exist for the game so far? Now, right now. Uh, I don't know how many pieces, but I, I know I wrote more than five hours of music. It's actually as crazy as I... <laughs> some, uh, yeah. you, yeah, some of it was for promotional matters. Uh, yes. A, a lot of some of it was for um, certain situation we had before that don't actually occur now. For example, one of one of the uh, one of the situations was um, the FPS that we initially was going to be different. Then they changed, um, and I wrote a, some of the music that we still hear in the game, mm -hmm. but it was meant for that. Then it changed the, the the designs changed, and then actually the music that went into the to the, the actual monitors right now was music from Ross Regenza. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's, uh, for example, that, but most of it is uh, already in the game. And yes, it's around five hours, which is really amazing. Uh, okay, the number five of hours. hours. That's, <laughs> uh, and, and that's and, just for you. That's for me. But I'm yeah. the one who will write the most. The, the most, the, yeah. Right, I, I, at least I think I have written the most so far. Mm -hmm. But I'm still, still doing it. Sometimes it goes really fast. You know, I don't have to code, but I have to write. Sometimes yeah. music goes really fast. Sometimes music doesn't go that fast. For example, I'll tell you one situation. 
right now I was doing a, a, new, a new set of music for the uh, for the outlaws for example and, uh, and there was a the outlaw EVA music and uh, and I took a long time to think how it should, should sound like because it's not just right music like as if it wasn't as if it was not nothing you know like mm -hmm. um uh, like I, I i don't want to write random music so people will just uh take it up and you know this is what i did in five minutes something and sometimes i, I take like two three weeks just to imagine the instruments that should be should be played and uh, right now i can show it i think i can show it. <laughs> this is this is this is this is won't go into the game it's just a concept that i that I did uh, to think about what uh, should let me see if I can find it. Uh, e, what is it? EVA? EVA? Where are you? <laughs> Coming. <laughs> no, oh, okay, here it is. So it just, okay, it's here. This is just a synth uh, study. So Rather than just you know, when you work with synthesizers, uh, you know uh, you can. I don't know if you know, but there are you can use uh, just plain pre presets that come with it, or mm -hmm. you can create your own sound. For Star Citizen, I I like the idea of creating my own sounds. Uh, well, there's some there are some you know bases. Some bases are really really well. Uh, done that we can reuse or at least the most but you know there are some signature presets i like to have it as you know unique on star season why because it, I, I like it i think it's worth the game is worth it it's uh does it take time yeah sometimes it takes like a week or two just to imagine the sound uh for, right now the music's uh, the sound can you hear uh no no nope. ah, okay sound. okay yeah sorry like this now you hear but this is a sense set of study I did. It's just a synth. There is no orchestra, but it's just an idea. I don't know how it will become. This is my last iteration of that. I like it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> So this was a kind of a melodic um, synth. You don't hear it, but it, there's, it, it, the sound is not constant. Like, yes. it's very. Yes, but yes. With the re, what the reverb? It sounds like uh, like a pad. But it, well, I like it. I, I think it, it's here. It's really great. Small oh, yeah. It has a bit oh, of yes. phaser. It has a bit of a phaser effect mm -hmm. because I wanted it to have a, like a modern take on some of the elements from the eighties music. That's this. Uh, that's yeah. that's what okay. I wanted. So it sounds uh, modern, but it has some element. For example, I can show you how the study was before. It had a, kind of a weird a lead that we didn't like. This is also, <laughs> I think, also that uh, this goes back and forth with the audio team a lot. This was uh, uh, the lead that I had before. I thought uh, space walls. <laughs> but then it felt too retro and it, and it felt out of place of the game. So, so it's, 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 well, it's very 80s. It, uh, it, it <laughs> so we just, and now uh, it's too much. So, so. So this is just an, an example of okay. several iterations that, um, that 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 we need to that we need to do to, to make it um, sound um, you know to make you know not always good music just sound gets out at first but sometimes it does. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, um, presently we speak about the three hundred uh, three hundred i uh, advertising videos. Mm -hmm. um, you have made vid music for other advertising uh, ships videos. Uh, how do you work for this kind of videos? Do you have the videos and making the, the music, inspiring by the video to making the music? Or you, you just compose the music and uh, with no, no pictures? No, any, no, no. When it's a commercial, there is some pictures. Sometimes it's temporary pictures and I compose for them. 
and then they uh, they send new the new uh, the new shots and then I can okay. it's a it's a, it's, an, it's a traditional commercial really okay. but uh, and so when they send the new shots sometimes music doesn't fit as well so I have to rearrange it I'm actually uh, doing something uh, in that that particular thing and, and um, so the initial the initial uh, style was was different then we changed and then it gets uh, and then right now for example uh, my music like chris asked after hearing music and said oh well, how about if we change the the cut like this and like this maybe it could look better you know i think it's really cool that he uh, he takes a lot of his time to to make those um the small little bits really 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 cool and professional it could I think I think it does make a difference because it's once it's done it's forever and it's yeah, yeah. and he's very into detail and very into into the fine details of uh, of of everything basically everything in in, in, in the game and uh, so, so I I really love it uh, to be honest it's it really does make the difference <laughs> for me it make does make the difference of course I. I uh, because of this, I will just so you get an, an idea. Because of this revision, because I think it will be a bit better uh, tomorrow. I'll have a new cut, and I will have to revise the music tomorrow. So it's another half a day of composition that is uh, to remake something because we want to make it a little bit better. Mm. Yeah, I think yeah. it's you know. So it, it's a, it's some kind of dialogue. It's back and forth. It, it's, it's in this case, it has been back and forth. There have been uh, some of the commercials. That I had the already the the whole thing mostly done, so I could compose the music. One of them was the Hornet one. I had the thing yes. mostly done before I could. But in that case, uh, uh, yes, that that was one of um, Hans Apple's son was born. So he was he delivered that pretty pretty late. So we had had to work really hard in a, in a few days to show it to the to the community. That was we had like a hard deadline. That was really, really, really hard to, to get it done <laughs> in time. But we did it. Uh, uh, it's a bit too much. I, uh, yeah, I had, <laughs> I, had, I, had, I had to literally work almost 24 hours nonstop on that one uh, in one of the days because it was impossible to to do it uh, otherwise. So basically, so it's a, it's a lot of effort. But I think it's very good because when you look back and say, oh, this is... This is still cool. I, I I think it's still cool. I still like it. I still like to hear the Hornet. Uh, probably to yes. Maybe I could have done it better now today. I don't know. It's um, uh, <laughs> it's always, it's always possible to do better. Yeah, but uh, yeah, of course I did. I did what I <laughs> what I, what I thought it was best. <laughs> <laughs> and well, when when you know that uh, Star Citizen takes place uh, almost you know thousand years from now, isn't that hard to find inspiration and to 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 know to to guess uh, what what feeling you want to render about well, the no, future? No, no, no. It's actual, no. It's it's not because <laughs> okay. we usually make music that is related to what we feel nowadays. Of course, uh, yeah, of course. But I did try to make some of the instruments uh, a bit more unique. I remember one of the instruments I l literally created was for, let me see, I think it was for people to plan. Well, it's, it's just one of them, uh, one of them. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, where is it? Planet. So you do create uh, instruments? Oh, yes, yes, I do create <laughs> instruments. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, like it's nothing, you know. <laughs> no, well, sometimes it's, they're, sometimes they are they're not sometimes they are not physically done. They yeah, are uh, they are done with inside of a synth synthesizer or combining synthesizers with with more traditional instruments, and the merge between those the both of them creates like a new kind of sound that I I like because it's a uh, well at the very least I like to do it because it's cool and, and it really motivates me and basically. For example, one of uh, I think it was this one. This was the, what was this? I don't know. Remember? I'm just ah. Uh, uh, this was. <laughs> In, 
interesting. This music, this music started, this was the, my first um, demo for um, for People to Planet. And I wanted <laughs> okay. to have a singer sing it. And she did sing it. And I loved it. And, and then we ended up with this. Uh, do you remember? Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this one, yeah, 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 totally. Oh, yes. and, but I thought it was very cool what I did back then. Yeah, yeah. And, I think we and can I thought all agree that, to that. <laughs> that, w- that it will be a waste to put it trash. So what I what I did, I revised the whole music. Sorry, sorry, sorry to take so much time. No, no, uh, no, no. no. <laughs> take all the time you need. Oh, this is. Can you can you see? Oh, well. This is for Citizen, uh, sorry, uh, this was when I got the video from Hans Appel, uh, this was from Hans as well, no, it was not, it was a mix, Hans and uh, for, uh, I started with this track, it was just me on the piano, I'm just playing it to you, the, 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 the various tests, then it was this one, Let's see, was my second test like it just just me playing and then it's get got to this was, yes then i sent it to uh, then i i remember i got from julie i didn't know she was I, I didn't know she was singing then she was hired it was a long time ago then she was hired to sing in horizon zero dance so you probably know her voice from there mm-hmm. um but i i remember doing this with her and she she sang beautifully. I love it. Oh, yeah. And and then, but I I, th- I thought the music shouldn't go to trash, so I did an orchestral version of that. And you probably heard it. This was real, real orchestral already. You remember that? Yes. So. Anyway, this started with um, my heart was blowing out of my chest. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god! (laughs) Oh, it's here. What's I'll put this one very quiet.
mine. Perfect win one. Oh I, I loved it. <laughs> Doing it. <laughs> Thank was, you uh... for sharing that with us. Oh yes. There is... Oh, there's another thing that's very cool. Uh, I think I never showed this to anyone. I was looking at this the other day and when I did a commercial. That was probably one of the hard. This came because of your question about commercials, and I'll I'll try to see if I can uh, find it again. And uh, it, it was for the the Mustang commercial, exactly for the Mustang. And there were a lot of versions for that one, a lot of versions. And there's a song that some people liked it, which was inspiring Star Citizen. Do you remember? This was actually initially done because of this commercial, but it was rejected by Chris Roberts because it didn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't, no, yes, it's true. It didn't fit too well uh, in in the overall. The commercial it doesn't mean so. I had to redo it. I'll just play through some of the versions. I the other day I bumped into this and I was like, oh, there's so many versions. This commercial was terrible because I did uh, like thirty versions. Oof. So it was it was a huge amount of work. Let's see if I have. Oh, oh here this is my That's first. A... Yeah. Is we are drawn yes. towards the familiar. It is safe, reliable, but it can shackle us to the ordinary when in our souls we long to strike out to become something new. We started with a simple mantra. Dare to dream. Dare to challenge the expectations of what's come before. To embrace the unique, to put everything on the line. Only when we risk everything can we discover something truly special. And redefine what it means. So this was okay. like a mid. Yeah, okay. And then this was the second, the, the next iteration. I don't know. I'm just seeing this at the same time. Oh, well, drawn towards the This was how the inspiring starts it the is sick, game. Reliable. It was the version I like. But it can shackle us to the ordinary when in our souls we long to strike out to become something new. We started with a simple mantra. Dare to dream. Dare to challenge the expectations of what's come before. To embrace the unique, to put everything on the line. Only when we risk everything can we discover something truly special. And redefine what it means to drop the stars. So that the voice is very low in the mix, but uh, mm -hmm. and then I did this version. Uh, we can, we're hearing in the same time. Yes. To explore the farthest reaches. So it's different all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is this kind of the race on the cutting edge. This is like the duration that me and Chris goes on. Then he heard it. I don't know. He said, "Oh, I feel like blah blah blah." That can you revise that? And I said, "Okay, let's do another version." And then. <laughs> <this is> the... <laughs> Oh, this is. He didn't like the start. I think he felt it was. Too... We are drawn towards the familiar. It is oh. safe, reliable. But then it was rejected again. <laughs> the first eighteen. I will show you version eighteen. Let us see how it was. Oh my! Then it was version twenty. <laughs> this was so endless. <laughs> oh my! Uh, we and started then... with a simple match. And this is what this one is, I don't know. But it can shackle us to the ordinary when in our oh, souls. We... This is how it is starting to get in, uh, closer to what the final version was. We are drawn towards the familiar. It is safe, reliable. But it can shackle us to the ordinary when in our souls we long to strike out to become something new. We started with a simple mantra. Dare to dream. Dare to challenge the expectations of what's come before. 
and then then and then the final <laughs> version was version thirty-three. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> in, in how many days? That was a few days, I don't know. <laughs> I think this was the final version. We are drawn towards the familiar. <laughs> it is safe. So, we, so you can see how, how it goes. The first shackle us to the ordinary. When in our souls we long to strike out to become something new. We started with simple mantra. Dare to dream. Dare to challenge the expectations of what's come before. To embrace the unique, to put everything on the line. Only when we risk everything can we discover something truly special and redefine what it means to travel the stars. To explore the farthest reaches. To race on the cutting edge. To protect what you love. Say goodbye to the familiar. And welcome the brand new Mustang. Where risk meets reward. So now you know how how the um, inspiring star season came from. Yeah, so that's uh, right now uh, in my DAW, I'm doing something which I can't say yet what it is, but it's for star season. But you can have like a, I'm still doing it. So I'll just play it around a little bit. What it is. What does it take to build a symphony? It takes a blueprint. Four movements that will dictate key, tempo, and the arrangement of musical notes that will create harmonies, melodies. It takes an orchestra. Master technicians of their craft, working in perfect unity to transform notes into sound and those sounds into an experience. But most of all, it takes emotion. A feeling so powerful that it transcends words and must be conveyed in another form. Introducing the new 600i from Origin. A symphony in motion. See your authorized Origin dealer for details. Actually, I had violins as well. <laughs> I had my, my string violins. So the pattern was just like this. Yeah, so it's just one of the pads, another pad. small phasing phasing effect i really love it and it's uh, I, I like it uh, what, what else oh, me too i love your job <laughs> <laughs> cool
I know. So much energy. All this, what I wanted to say is all this big, you know, uh, you know, showing up of my some of my work or stuff that people don't usually see and that the uh, iteration is that it's sincerely a, a labor of love for what I, at least what I'm doing in Star Citizen. And, and that's what also I feel from Chris in every reply he does uh, in every iteration we do in the music. Um, I really feel there's a lot of love, passion, and it's not, um, there's always, always a lot of, um, of respect and a lot of uh, good spirit between everyone, especially uh, Chris is, is, a, is a very good example of that. Mm. Um, never once I heard um, Chris being disrespectful to anyone or, or to me or anyone in the team, which is also a good example of, of a good leadership. And also that I, I think that's why he can, you know, keep this number of people working for them um, as, as motivated as they are. So. All in all, I just wanted to show you the um, the passion that it's the amount of detail that we place in each of of, of the work that we do. Not always it's uh, it will come out good. Sometimes we need to revise it, but uh, I think in the end we'll get something that is done forever, and it will be forever like that. It's worth and time. I it's... think it was. That's what I, I I always feel that. That's what I feel. It's something that we. Uh tell um, many times that uh, we are here for the adventure of it, of yeah. the adventure of the development and uh, all is going on with it. Because it's just amazing to follow you guys doing this and uh, it's just amazing to, to see your, your work uh, happening right now and uh, just mm -hmm. imagine what it will be at the end. We just want to be to the end, but we want to to follow the adventure too so yeah. oh. the, the, the travel is important more important than the goal it's a human adventure really just like we're all i don't know we're all like uh, going to this uh but you know life is about this if you you know if you think about life or well, why if we go i don't i we can't go into this kind of conversation because it's a bit, but if we if you think about what the meaning of life is, and sometimes it's to do things that are usually not, you know, normal, or <laughs> or not conventional at least, uh, I think um, it makes um, it makes it different and 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 more special. It has a more flavor when it's hard. At least I don't like to do easy stuff. I like to do hard stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's probably me. It seems to be. Uh, I have a. <laughs> Just some thing. Uh, your music is uh, it's very inspirational for lots of people, for all of us. Uh, we, you permit us to to dream about Star Citizen through your music. And yeah. how do you feel about it? Because this is huge. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. I know. Well, thank you. It's a you're asking like a really really important question. Uh, I never thought. Uh, I just, I just did, I, did, I just do the music that really makes me feel good about, about that. That feel, that feels right to me, and it's really a privilege for me that that, that there are so many. Uh, well, there's so many people that really think alike, like me. So, and I, I remember seeing, looking at the stars at night, and imagining how it would it be to be um, in space and. Sweet. I don't know. It's something I always looked at. I I love to start to look at at the sky at night. So this music is quite a lot of my childhood. It's on it's on my YouTube and uh, ah yes, sorry, not Home is in the Sky was a great track, but I liked Roy writing it. But the one is more special to me probably is the Majesty of Space, which is my YouTube. Mm. And it's yeah yes, this is what I felt I, when I wrote this answering to you to. So you snake him. It's like <laughs> this is uh, what I felt when I was young, like a child and looking at the stars. This mood is like me looking up into the sky. Can you hear it well, or is it too low? Yeah. No, it's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect. 
So it's like, and it, this doubt is a B that was written because of my son was born in that year, and he's Bernardo, and so okay. it starts with a B. So it's, so it's like small detail. Getting emotional for me. It's really an emotional <laughs> track. It uh, reminds me many things, many good things. So yeah, you know, I do music that really touches me. So I hope if it yeah if it touches them, it, it touched lots everybody. of everybody. Uh, yes, yeah. I think so. It's for me. It's like uh, being a, a, a little boy again and uh, watching uh, ET or uh, all the oh. all kind of stuff. It's like uh, having this emotions again and uh, so yeah. thank you for that yeah, no, yeah thank you thank you really thank you I don't know uh, yes uh, I'll, I'll show you a small sniper uh, something <laughs> I don't know if I should do but this is like, I'll show you just 10 seconds of some f stuff that I did because I think it's been a long time and I think you you deserve that and like, I'll just I can only show a small, small smile, smile sorry about that <laughs> it is one of them was an idea I had to show the way of um, the possible way that band use music could sound like a bit more very yeah, so the, the, the melodies are very different see it's the harmonies are very undefined it's, it's it follows the um, so it uh, the, the, the basic idea um, I had before uh, for the Banu music was something mm -hmm. like this: that uh, the, the the harmony would be done with some scales like this. So, okay. uh. Something that goes always up like. So it, it sounds as it goes up in the register, the, harm, the harmony mm -hmm. region is different. So you get a lot of kind of polychordish sounds. That was what I thought initially. That was just um, 
uh, an idea I had uh, mm -hmm. for that. It's nothing. Um, say I don't know. Then, so you said then that's I, for the Banu, that's right. Yeah, so it was an idea I had for the Banu. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Is it hard to, to 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 imagine music for? I mean, aliens maybe not have the same um, biology. Maybe not uh, the same type it, of fingers. It, it, it is. It is hard. What, what I thought about the banner was kind of this um, polychordish style of sound. It, it could sound a bit weird, too weird. Um, yeah. Still, stilling how to deal with that. It sounds a bit weird. What can usually happens with too weird stuff is that. Other people will never like it, or once <laughs> you start to like it, you really get into it, and you you really like to hear it. I liked it, but I don't know. You can see it's like it sounds it sounds out of place all the time. Yeah. I like the idea of having some, uh, you know, set of percussion just for them that we didn't mm -hmm. use in other places. Oh, this was a, a the Albano violin sound. Okay. It, it, the melodies had a very. You can see, it sounds very. No. Sound very strange. Yeah. Let's see what this was. Oh, this was for a demo. Yeah, it was for another thing. Anyway, I <laughs> showed you it's, quite it's, some it's, stuff. It's really, really uh, impressive. And uh, j just a, a quick question: uh, When you compose, uh, you told us you you are uh, you are a gamer yourself. But do you compose uh, music that you want to hear playing oh, Star yes. Citizen? Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. exactly. Because Got I, it. I usually mute music from games. Yeah. It's just sad for me to say. And, and I, I really don't want too much music because I, I really hate to play games that I always have music going on and just, yeah. just annoys you. And so, kind of, um, so yeah, I'm. I'm very you picky about that. I do play Star Citizen. You I do? do. I, of course, I do. Uh, I, I love to just go there and see the vistas and just to play, use my ship and visit. Of course, I, I can't wait to have 3.0. That 3.0 will be a massive, <laughs> will be a oh, massive yeah. inspiration boost for me because yeah. I will actually, I see many videos from there, but one thing is to see videos. Another thing is to see in like 4K everything in mm -hmm. your PC and like, Oh, this is great, and you know, <laughs> actually be composing and have the game running and alt tab and and go to the game and see mm, this okay. fits here. So I think that's that's what I that's what I do. Not always I can have you know the game running while I'm mm. composing, but uh, that's what I I always try to just have something and play the game and or just play videos of people playing the game and see how the music goes with someone playing and actively. Uh, on battles and stuff, I, I love doing that. So that, that's how I do it. So okay. always, always with the game in mind. Always. always. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Uh, Little bird of us, uh, which uh, have a name that is a uh, melonite, I recall. <laughs> 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 Told us that uh, you can also also speak French. Is it uh, uh, something? Uh, that uh, yeah. <laughs> you want to say just in French directly to the community to uh, <laughs> oui, uh je parle un peu le français mais c'est 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 déjà quelques mots euh, que je, je peux parler <laughs> euh, 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 merci beaucoup pour votre soutien euh, et pour cette interview euh, et pour votre soutien dans ma dans ma musique euh, et je, je, suis, je suis très content de, 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 
pour pouvoir parler avec vous. Euh, et, 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 et ça, si disant, c'est, c'est un projet magnifique pour moi et j'espère que, la, que ma musique euh, euh, peut être tra, euh, traduite. Ah, non, non, translate. Translate, oui. Traduit. Euh, euh, mon passion pour les jeux, mm-hmm. euh, pour vous. Et merci beaucoup pour, pour, le, pour votre temps. Merci. Merci, well, c'est génial. <laughs> thank you again, Pedro, to, to be here with us today for this interview, for this video. We, we have spent a really, really, really good moment with you. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, thank you. Clearly, thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's true. We enjoy every moment. I hope you watching this video, you enjoy it too. And we just have to tell you goodbye and see you to the next time. Ciao. Ciao. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ciao. Thank you. Bye-bye. Au revoir.